Hello everyone, I am back again. It's been for a while that I did not post any video because I have to learn the, more of the technical matters when it comes to video making. Plus, uh, perhaps by this time, I, I add up a little more of uh, confidence and uh, know a little more of how to blog and make video materials for YouTube. I hope you would like uh, this teaching material again on engineering economics. Good morning. Today, our topic is solutions to present economic problems that is on manpower requirements and time management. Our engineering economic problem is on manpower requirement and time management. The problem, a building contractor is faced with the problems of possibly paying liquidated damages of 20,000 per day for the delay in the completion of work in accordance with the contract. The facts are as follows. Number of days left in the contract is 30 days. At present, the working force are 40 skilled workers with a daily wage of 700 per day per worker. 20 unskilled workers with a daily wage of 520 pesos per day per worker. This is an eight-hour day work. If he maintains the present number of men, he will finish the work in 50 days. Overtime rate is 25% more than the regular rate. Analyze the following cases. Case 1. If he allows the present working force to work overtime for two hours a day, in how many days will he finish the work? How much are the savings or the loss? Case 2. If the contractor puts additional men, maintaining the ratio of two skilled workers to one unskilled in order to finish the work and time, how many workers will he add? No overtime work in this case. Case 3. Should the contractor allow overtime work for two hours a day, how many men will he add in order to finish the work on time? How many will he save or lose? Which case is the best engineering economic decision? Okay, let us understand well the given or the present condition. So we have skilled men, 40, and unskilled, 20. So the work can be finished with this number of men in 50 days. For the skilled worker being paid at 700 per day, with two hours overtime, it would mean 918 pesos and 75 cents. For the unskilled worker, being paid at 520 pesos per day, with a two hours overtime per day, that would mean 682 and 50 cents pesos for 
the unskilled worker. So how much is the cost of the present condition? We will compute for the salary expense for the skilled worker 40 times 50 days times the regular rate of 700 pesos. So that is 1.4 million for the unskilled 20 men times 50 days times 520 per day per worker. That is 500. 20,000 pesos for the liquidated damages. So there is a 20 days delay. They can finish the work in 50 days, but the contract is only left with 30 days. 50 minus 30 days is 20 days. We will multiply it by the liquidated damages, which is 20,000 per day that would give 400,000 in that case. To add up all the expenses, it is 2,320,000 pesos. Case one. So in how many days they will finish the work? We over time of two hours a day, it is best to start the solution with computing for the number of hours they can finish the work using the given 50 days. 50 days times 8 hours per day, that would give, up, give us 400 hours of time that they can finish the work. So from there, we could get how many days. So using ration proportion, 400 hours, if we divide it by 10 hours per day, we will get 40 days. So there is a delay of 10 days. 50 days minus 40 equals 10 days. Again, computing for the expenses in salary, this time within 40 days and with overtime of 2 hours a day. For the skilled worker, so 40 worker times 40 days, the rate with overtime, 918 pesos, 0.75, is equivalent to 1,470,000 pesos. Same computation with the unskilled, 20 times 40 times the salary per day with two hours overtime, 682 pesos and 550 cents so that is equivalent to 546,000 pesos the liquidated damages for 10 days is equivalent to 200,000 pesos the total expenses for case 1 is 2,216,000 pesos comparing it with the present condition there will be a savings of 104,000 pesos. Now for case two. So to finish in 30 days with no overtime, maintaining the ratio of skill to unskilled, which is two is to one. How many workers should be hired? So 30 days times 8 hours per day, that would give 240 days of work. The total work computed time, the total time computed earlier is 400 hours. Less 240 hours equals 160 hours. So these 160 hours is what needs to be filled up or to be worked on by the additional worker. 
So computing for the number of days, we could get it by 160 hours divided by 8 hours per day. It is equivalent to 20 days. So how many men would work on these 20 days? Maintaining the ratio of skilled to unskilled, which is 2 is to 1. So using the ratio and proportion, there are 40 skilled workers who can work 240 hours, equivalent to number of skilled workers to work on 160 hours. So the skilled worker is 26.67, equivalent to 27 skilled worker. Using the same analysis for the unskilled, there are 20 unskilled to work on 240 hours, equivalent to unskilled who are to work on 160 hours of time. Unskilled is 13. Computing for the total salary expenses in 30 days, no overtime. With this additional men, so we get for the skilled 67 skilled worker times 30 days, no overtime times 700. So that is 1,407,000 pesos. For the unskilled, 20 plus 13, 33 times 30 times 520, equivalent to 514,800 pesos. Liquidated damages, they can finish the work in 30 days, therefore, no delays. Hence, the total expenses for case 2 is 1,921,800 pesos. Comparing it with the present condition expenses, it is, it can save by, it can save 398,200 pesos. For case three, allowing two hours overtime, how many additional men are needed to finish on time? Earlier, we computed the total time to finish is 400 hours. So for the skill, 40 times 10 hours per day is equal to 400 hours. So the present number of skilled worker is enough to finish the work on time. What about the unskilled worker? So 20 unskilled times 10 hours per day is equivalent to 200 hours. So there is a difference of 200 hours more. So how many men should be working on these 200 hours? So let us start first by computing the number of days. 200 hours divided by 10 hours per day equivalent to 20 days. So if the contractor would consider unskilled worker, therefore it is equivalent to 20 unskilled worker. But if the ratio of skilled to unskilled is to be maintained, we have to determine from these 20 men how many are skilled and how many should be unskilled. Again, by using ratio and proportion, the 20 is skilled is to 60 men, 60, 40 plus 20, equivalent to unskilled over that 20 men needed. So we get the unskilled to be seven unskilled. Using the same proportion, 40 over 60 is equivalent to skilled over 20. The skilled is 13 in number. Hence, we compute for the total expenses, salary, in 30 days with 2 hours overtime, 
with the additional men, the skill would be equal to 20 plus skill 40 plus 13, 53, and the unskilled 20 plus 7. For the, for the skilled worker, 53 times 30 days times 918 pesos and 75 cents. The salary is 1,460,812 and 50 cent pesos. For the unskilled, 27 times 30 times 682 and 50 cents. The equivalent salary is 552,000 pesos, 825 pesos. No liquidated damages because they finished the work on time. So the total expenses is 2,013,637.50 pesos. So the saving in favor of case 3 is 306,362 and 50 centavos pesos. Now this is the summary of what we have computed. From the present condition, the expenses is 2,320,000. For case 1, we have 2,216,000 pesos. For case 2, 1,921,800 pesos. And for case 3, 2,013,637 and 50 pesos. So, which among these three would provide the least cost? So, from here you can uh, make now your best engineering economic decision. So, from my slides, I go for case two because it gives the highest savings. Okay, I hope you gain additional learning for making engineering economic analysis. So with it, please support my channel. You subscribe. Thanks. God bless and be safe, everyone.